For the first eight months of my treatment, nobody was able to tell me exactly what was wrong. I lost my job, was severely depressed, unable to get out of bed, and in incomprehensible amounts of pain prior. After the digital motion x-ray, when we were able to see what was wrong and have somebody tell me exactly what was going on with my body, it justified my pain and made me feel better about the healing process because I knew where I was and where I could go. The digital motion x-ray technology, what this does is it takes full range diagnostic evaluation of your spine. Unlike regular x-ray, which would be like this, where it's still, we actually ask the patient to move through a full range of motion so we can see what happens when you move. We see patients all the time that are suffering from headaches and neck pain and nausea and especially hurts when they move or when they're in a certain position. So as opposed to just putting them in a standard, neutral, non-movement position and trying to come up with an appropriate diagnosis, we need to move the spine through a full range of motion to assess if it's working appropriately. And if it's not working appropriately through a full range of movement like this, we can then come up with a more appropriate diagnosis to give you a much more appropriate uh, treatment plan and hopefully get you better a lot quicker. I was in a car accident in November of 2009. I was hit at a, I was at a dead stop and the gentleman that hit me was going 45 miles an hour. He hit me from behind and totaled his vehicle as well as severe damage to mine. Initially the pain started in my lower neck and then started to work its way up to the base of my skull and is still currently persistent in all areas. Um, over time it did progress to the top of my head and ended up being very severely um, detrimental to daily life. In Jesse's case, one of the pathologies that we found on this technology is certain movements were worse. Jesse's job was she was a hairstylist, which made her look down and have her neck more in a flex position, meaning chin to chest. What we found with this technology was some of her pathologies were worse in that position. So having that knowledge and having that understanding of why is one position worse than another, we were then able to educate Jesse on to what movement is better, what movement is worse, and then we were able to take that information in our office and apply it to a treatment to get her neck in a better position and then strengthen it so that that one particular movement isn't as bad. So with Jesse, we were able to take not just what she was telling us and not what we found on an exam, but then looking at the digital motion x-ray through a full range of motion and evaluating which joints were better in what position, which joints they were worse, so then Jesse could take that information and apply it to her daily life. 